All right, here okay. we go. Okay. So uh, everybody's been talking about how to understand Twitter and uh, all the different slangs and the acronyms and the abbreviations. abbreviations. And um, so we decided that our next our next video would be to kind of explain some of the the abbreviations as well as the um, as well as the hashtags. People are wondering what's going on with that too. So. Um, I'm using, on my computer right now, I'm using TweetDeck. Um, everybody's been wondering about um, how to use it and so, or, or not really sure about it yet. Uh, it's a little bit easier as far as um, just using Twitter um, because it's a really good way to keep things organized and um, keep your chats kind of uh, in sync with each other and keeping the comments all together where they belong. Um, so the very first thing that you want to do when you log into uh, TweetDeck.com, um, you're going to log into your uh, account like you normally would for Twitter. Um, you're going to search by hashtag. Hashtag is just your way of keeping things kind of organized and together. Wait, I thought a hashtag was just a number sign. No, it's not. In Twitter, the, uh, the number sign is um, a hashtag, which basically is a... A bookmark to kind of say hey this is where all of these conversations about uh, art ed chats or about k-12 art chat um, can all go and where they all kind of belong and stick together so um, so you type in your hashtag of let's say um, k-12 so we're gonna type in hashtag k-12 art chat um, and uh, so you just click on it and it shows you an example um, down here at the bottom. It's got add to column, so you just click on add column. And so this has every single uh, tweet that has um, has the hashtag of K12 RChat in it. So if you want So on TweetDeck, um, the there are abbreviations for things. Um, there is like on this one, um, there's a capital S and a lowercase s that stands for students. Um, so they're talking about instead of actually writing the whole word out of students because you only get 140 characters each tweet um, or a maximum of that. So you gotta save space, and you know these things go really fast, uh, especially the the really built up ones with lots of followers, and um, it's got students, so that's what that means. Um, you might also see a capital T, like you do over here, and a lowercase s it stands for teachers. Um, and see, I think um, some of the other ones are. Um, retweet you'll see like if someone likes what you had to say you'll see the the letters rt right next to them um, that means that somebody retweeted what you had to say um, <clears throat> sometimes you'll see somebody who really likes what you have to say but adds some their own input to it um, they'll see an mt that stands for modified tweet um, or edit tweet either one um, but it, it still just means that they liked your tweet and just wanted to add their own um, onto it, their own take onto it. Um, <clears throat> I liked what Becca had to say is that sometimes, you know, you want to find something that's inspiring or meaningful, but it's way longer than 140 characters. What was her suggestion? Her suggestion that? was to um, take it into a, basically almost kind of taking like a photo of it or retyping it out in like picto chart. Um, where a lot of our questions are um, put together and, um, you know, for display for everyone to be able to see. And so then you can be able to put that into PictoChart or some kind of image program. Kind of like, that's made with, oh, there we go. PictoChart. Oh, 
Um, no, this one was made with Canva.com. Okay. Um, so there's there's a bunch of different apps out there um, of what you can use for pictures if you have big long quotes um, that you can use. And um, that way you're not taking up space for your actual tweet. You just tweet the image. You just tweet the image and then you don't, then you don't have to worry about it.